Survivor channel. So as you see, I'm already shooting my um, MCX Virtus. Love this gun. Um, I want to step over here and tell you a little bit about it. So if you want to walk with me. All right, so I'm going to shoot straight with you. I had to uh, re record this part because that sun was really killing me um so yeah we are going to start with how in the world this chick ended up with a virtus all right quick story well initially i wanted something that was going to address my situation which is i live in a rural area i got a good little piece of land and i have three german shepherds and we're like nestled in the woods um so we deal with coyotes raccoons possums you know all of that so i needed something that could reach out and touch not too far but you know a couple hundred yards so i had my eye out for an mcx for two reasons the first is you know the military our military you know depends on them and then two they're pistol piston driven um and you know that's why i wanted one so i'm, I'm in the market and it's limited the only thing i can find is a rattler so i'm like okay bet I'll go ahead, I'll take the Rattler. I get it, get it home, start shooting it, and the concussion was unbelievable. It was too much. With ears on, it didn't matter. Um, but I was stuck with it. Like I said, availability. That's all I could get my hands on. So I was, um, I had to keep it for about a year, um, and I kept my eye out for the Virtus. And so when one came available, I jumped right on it. And that's my short story on uh, how I ended up with the Virtus. So, um, I want to share with you exactly how mine is set up. So, if you will, babe. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and start um, telling you how mine is set up, okay? So, first, we're going to clear, drop my magazine, and then I will show you that I am clear. All right. Good to go. All right, so I think the logical thing to do is to start with my sights. I am running the Troy Industry Iron Sights. It has the tritium. I'm trying to make sure you can see that well. All right, and you will see in some of the additional clips that I'm going to show you, I have a Trigicon MRO previously. Well, I've upgraded to the Aimpoint Comp M5. When I tell you this thing is so nice, Chris clear it's it's really good i mean anybody that knows you know what i mean all right um moving on to my light i have a surefire m340 um it has a mod light button it's 500 lumens all right and as far as my muzzle let's show you this first all right so i have a war comp it's a surefire war comp you see that good all right, this is a flash hider. All right, a um, a suppressor acceptor. It allows you to uh, put a silencer on there. Or in my case, I play like it's a silencer. And I have the Surefire um, Warden, which this is a blast regulator. So it's gonna push all of that away from you, okay? And so the trick to putting this on, you line it up where Surefire is on top, you know, it's facing up. And you slide that right on it's gonna click hurt that click and then you twist until it's tight okay and then you're all set okay um now moving on my handle is nothing special it's an upgrade from what sig provided i can't remember what it's not too aggressive either but it, it's a good grip um my trigger is also an upgrade but I am looking to move to the, um, I think it's called the flat bow. Yeah, that's what it is. I am so excited about this firearm. It does everything that I thought it would do. And it's just daggone sexy, if you ask me. All right. So um, I am going to take you back to the rest of the video. Um, like I said, I just had to do, it, do this part over again because the sun was killing me. I'm going to start from left to right, your left to right. So over here, I have the SIG 120 grain, <clears throat> excuse me, um, all copper hollow point. And to mimic this, I use the Barnes 
120 grain. It's an all around round, okay? It's good for practice and um, self defense. And I would lean towards that if price is an issue because it's extremely affordable and availability is A1, okay? Um, and then right here, this is my first choice in my home defense or self-defense, I'm sorry. Um, it's 150 grain uh, Winchester, and that is a polymer tip, hollow point. And I mimic that with my federal 100, yeah, <laughs> 150 grain um, all, all metal jacket. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get back to putting some shots down range and um i'm gonna go to like i said what's in there right now is my 120 barns shoots like a champ so i'm gonna grab my ears and eyes and i'll meet you back over here I enjoyed it um, I could keep going but I'm gonna stop right now I hope you enjoyed the video um, look for my next one and I appreciate you and this is Sax Cute Life Letting off some steam tonight. 
um, look out for my next video. Leave any comments uh, on what you might want to see, what you thought of this video. Either way, can't wait to see you next time.